Well, hello there, and welcome to yet another episode of Pastor Jack Unplugged. And maybe a little unshaven. And definitely untucked. I want to put you all in a scenario today, and the idea for it actually comes from an essay written by a woman named Emily Pearl Kingsley, and it has to do with when plans change. Imagine that you plan this great trip to Italy. That would be before the pandemic, of course. And you have wanted to do this trip your entire life. You have gone to the library, researched this trip and the opportunities it presents. You've studied books. You rented all of the Rick Steves videos. And now you know the cities that you're going to visit. You want to see Venice and Rome and Florence and Tuscany. And, you know, you plan all the incredible food that you're going to order. In the specific places, Lake Como, the Italian Alps, maybe the Colosseum. You saved your money for years, and then the day arrives. You get on the airplane, and as the night progresses, you can't hardly sleep at all because of the excitement, as well as because your knees are being crushed by the guy in front of you when he lowered his seat back on you. But that doesn't matter because you are so excited. And hours later, the wheels actually touch down. You've landed. You've arrived. And now you're taxiing in. And as you do so, you hear the flight attendant's welcome. But she says something you're not expecting. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Holland. Now, your time is limited. And your circumstances aren't going to let you get to Italy to be able to enjoy it with the time you have left on your vacation. So what now? Well... You can be angry. I mean, you can just live in a state of denial and frustration and just hang on to the grief over the loss of this dream. Or you can look around and say, well, what's in Holland? What language do they speak? Uh, what is there to see and do? And most importantly, what is there to eat? You know, the, before the pandemic hit us as a church, we had plans. I mean, it's as if we were going to Italy. Plans for within the church in terms of various means of discipleship we wanted to do in our life groups and the Bible studies, men's and women's both, and the Sunday school classes all meant to help us study God's word in community. And we wanted to also work to help our body to begin to grow and being able to be more open, more vulnerable with one another, even more so than we've been so far. But we also had plans outside the church as well. Uh, you might remember we were talking about this community caring team and homework helpers. I mean, we had just gotten started. And then came the day when we heard, welcome to Holland, baby. Now, up to this point, so much of what we've done has been reactive to this announcement. And there were important fundamental things like how are we going to do our corporate worship together? How are we going to still conduct life groups, men's and women's Bible studies, even our all church prayer? And now, now it feels like we're kind of, it's as if we're leaving the airport, you know, in Holland with our cell phone in hand, looking up Google Maps. We've downloaded Rick Steve's videos on how to tour Holland. And we've decided we're going to use this time like a stewardship. Let me tell you of two new ways that we're going to adapt to these changes. The first has to do with inside the church body. We're going to pick up our adult Sunday school class place where everyone, male and female, young and old, can all come to do Bible study with anyone within the entire church. And specifically, when we want to look at how Jesus teaches us to live in difficult times. So entitled, Let Not Your Heart Be Troubled, we're going to have four Sundays to see how God would have us to live in our proverbial Holland, in a place we didn't think we'd be. But God has a plan for us to enjoy. And that's going to be on Sunday nights, starting at 8 p.m. We're going to do it on Zoom, and it'll begin starting Sunday, April 26th, and it's going to go through Sunday, May 17th, and that'll be led by Bill Parker. But there's another way we're going to explore our proverbial Holland tour, and that's going to be through community caring. Now we have these new opportunities. Um, it's just that we don't know about them completely yet. So your elders, your pastors, your staff, even some church members have been working together these last couple of weeks and spending time on this topic. And we started a process and how we can be proactive 
and how we identify the needs that are out there. And there are physical needs, there are emotional needs, relational needs. My goodness, there's academic needs now too, aren't there? And spiritual needs, all right here in Western Loudoun. And we're inviting you to help us to identify them. We're inviting you to be a part of a team that can help us to construct this. And then for some of you, um, you've got the gifting, you've got the passion to be the one who'll be able to own one of these opportunities and help us as a congregation to serve in a powerful way. I mean, going back once again to my Holland illustration, you would be the one who would say, okay, let's all take our phones out, let's Google up, let's come up with a list of places to see. And you, sir, what I want you to do is find out what language they speak here, because we don't even know that right now. And you, you need to start helping us figure out some of the questions we need to ask of people and how we're going to make this trip successful. And you, I need you to find us places where we can eat with good food. In other words, you're helping us to coordinate the tour and how we can lead and help right here in our community. And let's not forget, we're not doing this to be busy. Everybody's busy. We're doing this to be fruitful and to be faithful with what God has for us. And love is what drives this. Wouldn't it be great if after all this is over, our community saw the church, not the government, the church as being the ones who love their neighbors and took their own money and their resources and people and time to really care about our community. We are going to be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that our toil is not in vain in the Lord. Brittany has included information about this in this week's Ridge Notes, so you be sure to stop and check it out. And maybe you're the one who will help us to create some of these ideas, but maybe you're the one who will help us to execute them and exalt our God in an amazing way. Well, I sure do look forward to getting together with you all in the near future and to see what God has for us. Until then, this is Pastor Jack speaking to you all the way from Holland, if you get my drift. I love you all. I look forward to seeing you in person, hopefully soon. How do you say goodbye in Dutch? Tot ziens. And arrivederci.